happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Pop Square. My name is Biel. I want to let you all know now that tomorrow there will be no live stream because it is 4th of July. It is a holiday. So we will not be here, but we will come back on Thursday to host another stream where we'll be updating you the news about K-pop and what's going on, what you can be anticipating, so on and so forth. So again, I hope you don't come on this come here tomorrow and wonder where is the stream because again, it is a holiday. But I will be seeing you again on Thursday. So let's go ahead and get started for the news today. Let's start off with Triple H. So Triple H, as I mentioned before, they are a subunit from Cube Entertainment featuring Hyuna and two Pentagon members. So their concept teaser has been released now. It is called Retro Futurism. So that is out right now to give fans a kind of feeling about what this comeback will be. So not only has a concept photo been released, but also the schedule for their comeback is out right now. So you may, some fans may be wondering that if you can find it on Twitter, but no, Triple H has an official Instagram account. So this is where all the information is and you want to follow it. Don't worry. It is going to be right there down below for you to click it. So you can go ahead and easily follow Triple H because as you see on the schedule, the first teaser that's going to come out is Hyuna and then followed by the two Pentagon members. And afterwards, it will be the group concept photo and continuing more teasers such as the music video teaser, album preview, so on and so forth, leading up to July 18th when the official comeback will be released. So let me know in the comment section down below, are you excited for Triple H to have their comeback? Because the last time we have heard from them again was their song called 365 Fresh as their title track. So Hyuna again has been kind of teasing fans along the way for this comeback and now that we know it's officially gonna happen and also that more teasers are coming out the anticipation is just so high so again mark your calendar for July 18th that's when Triple H will be back all right let's go ahead and move on to our next topic it is Tiffany remember I told you that she had her digital single called over my skin so on her Instagram and on her Twitter account, she has been updating fans in regarding towards how the song is doing in the chart. But the newest thing that came out is she has teased us that a choreography video was going to be released. Again, it is choreographed by Giannis Marshall. So you already know that it's going to be an amazing choreography. But now at this time, the choreography is officially out. It came out earlier today. Let's take a quick moment to watch the choreography for Over My Skin. So in the comment section down below, let me know what do you think about the choreography and again, what do you think about Over My Skin? Because Over My Skin, you may have heard the audio track for quite some time now because a lot of fans have been streaming the song, but this is the first time you're going to get the official full look of the choreography because the first time fans have seen a quick little teaser of it was by Giannis Marshall when he was at LA Pride. So Vogue magazine actually covered this segment. Not only did they cover about Giannis Marshall, but they also mentioned about Tiffany. So this article is quite not as very recent because again, this was way before up until Over My Skin was officially released. So let me know in the comment section down below again, what do you think about the song, the choreography? Because some fans are saying that, oh, it's quite different than what we have seen from SNSD when she was still with the members. But again, I really still do love it because it still has that Tiffany flavor. And even though that she may have left SNSD, she still remembers her roots from Girls' Generation and she would always continue to give them their love, her love and support for them. So again, let me know what do you think about Over My Skin and for this choreography. Are you planning on learning it? I think that it isn't that bad, but seeing is a lot harder than trying. So let me know in the comment section, are you thinking about trying the choreography or not? All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. We have All S Company. So you may have heard this company before because actually they are the company for Girls' Day and also Map 6. They're planning to be releasing and debuting a new group called Diamond Crunch. So this is actually going to be a new board group. The date is not set on when they're going to have their debut. It is going to be in August, but again, the date is not confirmed yet. So you already see here we have a photo of Diamond Crunch. It's going to be a member for not of nine. And you guys, the youngest member is born in 2002. 
So let me know what do you guys think about that because as you are aware, as some of us are getting older, some of them are getting younger. So are you thinking about standing Diamond Crunch? Let me know in the comment section down below. So up until their official debut, all as entertainment or all as company they're already going to be releasing lots of pre-debut or their own reality show leading up to the official debut so already on diamond crunch's official youtube channel there's already a couple episodes out right now following the members one by one where you can hopefully get to know about them some more so i highly recommend you to check it out and of course they already have a fandom starting so you might be able to find English subtitles or whichever subtitles you're looking for. It might be coming out very, very quick. And some of you might be wondering, what does Diamond Crunch stand for? So don't worry, we have it for you right here. Diamond Crunch is supposed to be representing about a powerful and also very impacting group. And as you all know, diamonds are very nearly almost indestructible and very firm. That's supposed to be what the group is supposed to be representing. So that is a very interesting concept and as you may be aware already there's so many boy groups out that the expectation continues to climb higher and higher so i really do look forward to see what diamond crunch will be bringing up into the k-pop world especially as a boy group so you kind of really see from their concept photo that they might be bringing like a very hip-hop very powerful image so i really look forward to see that and i hope that they do have a very impactful and powerful debut again it's in august no date is confirmed yet, but stay tuned on the Pop Square because once it is out, we will be letting you know. Okay, now let's go ahead and go on to another board group since we're on the board group track already. Golden Child. Golden Child is going to be having their comeback tomorrow. So their teasers have been leading up into the official comeback date, which is 4th of July at 6 p.m. Korea time. So concept photos are released already. And on top of that, not only was the group photo released, the member photos released, but also the track list for their album. Their first single album, the album is called Goldenness, and the title track is called Let Me. And you see the title track list here. There's three songs. It's going to be Let Me, If, and Thank You. So earlier today, the album preview was released for this album. So let's actually take a quick moment to listen to the album preview right here. <laughs> Alright, let me know what do you think about this album preview and I want to know actually, have you heard of Golden Child before? To be quite frank and honest, I only found about them not too long ago because our team, we like to go out with each other to go eat dinner, go get boba, so on and so forth. And when we go in the car, of course, we have to play K-pop songs. So, what? But like chance one day, Golden Child was playing and their song called I'm Falling started playing and I still play it so many times in my own car and at my own convenience. So if you haven't heard of Golden Child before, not only should you be anticipating for this album, but I highly do recommend you all to check out I'm Falling and the other songs in that album that features I'm Falling. It is so great. It's very cute. And you already can kind of tell from this concept already that it's going to be a really great summer vibe kind of feeling album. So... Again, in the comment section below, are you excited about Golden Child to have their comeback? I saw in the comment section yesterday that somebody mentioned that they were excited about Golden Child to have their comeback. So, the wait is almost over because, again, it is literally tomorrow, 6 p.m. Korea time. Are you going to plan, are you planning on staying awake for when this album and music video is released? As there's no work tomorrow, maybe I will. <laughs> so, we shall wait and see. But I am very excited for Golden Child to have their comeback. All right. Let's go ahead and close off with one last news portion for just to close off for Golden Child. So on top of their comeback, they're actually going to have a calling event for their fans. So it's supposed to be step by step leading up to the last step, which is going to be a fan meeting for their fans. So this is the tweet in regarding towards the calling event, but then it moves over to the exact steps. So, the step is here for you all, and some of you may be wondering that, okay, Bill, I can't really read this, but don't worry, we have an English translation for you right here. So, the English translation, again, is telling you the step-by-step -step process on how and what do you need to do to exactly reach the final one to get a fan meeting. So, there's actually is an app that you need to download to help the other fans reach the 200% that is needed to have the fan meeting. 
So there is still time. If you're going ahead, if you're going to go ahead and participate, I highly recommend you to do so because you may be getting like a phone call by Golden Child. So again, look forward to Golden Child's comeback tomorrow, 6 p.m. Korea time. Now, the last group we're going to talk about before we close out the stream is Google Don. So Google Don, as you may be aware, the last time we have heard from them was in February with their comeback song called The Boots. But now, Google Don is actually going to be having a subunit featuring three members. So you may have seen these three members before because they were actually in Produce 101 back in 2016. But now they're going to have their own subunit called Semina. So you may be thinking about what does Semina mean? So actually, from what I took from it, it is actually their names combined together. So the three members are Sejong, Mina, and Na Yong. So again, it, it literally breaks off into Semina and they're going to be having one digital single for this subunit. And actually, it's called um, Getting Jealous. So in Korean, it actually sounds very similar to Semina. So you can actually be looking forward to their debut on July 10th, 6 p.m. Korea time. And as I mentioned before, the first time fans have seen and heard about them was from Produce 101 back in 2016. And to prepare for the subunit's debut, they actually posted on YouTube and onto their Twitter account their re-edition that they had done back on Produce 101 for the song called Something New. And it is by Nikki, I'm so sorry if I first pronounce your name, but Nikki Yanovsky. So let's take a chance to watch the clip that they posted back onto their YouTube and Twitter account of the re-edition that they did for Produce 101 right here. Tell me the news. So in the comment section, let me know what do you think about this subunit because again, they're gonna have their come, they're not comeback, they're gonna have their debut on July 10th, literally the day right after twice. So July again is gonna be filled with so many girl groups that it is awesome. So let me know again what do you think about this and what do you anticipate for this subunit to have because it is very different from the boots as we've seen from the all members from Google Don and then now we're going to have them having a more summer vibe especially with a song called Getting Jealous. I'm very curious. Let me know in the comment section down below. But going back to Google Don together as all eight members, they just celebrated their second anniversary together. So they had their debut in 2016 on June 28th. So they actually released quite a lot of, you know, photos for their fans, but also they released special music video for their fans to celebrate their anniversary. So congratulations on your anniversary, Google Don. It was not too long ago. So let me leave some comments down below saying congratulations for Google Don to have their second anniversary. And also let me know, are you excited for this subunit? Because we have seen them before on Producer 101 and some fans have been curious to see what would it be like if only those three members had their own unit. So your curiosity is about to be acknowledged and also like you don't have to be curious any longer because again, July 10th is when they're going to have their debut. So that is it for today, everybody. I will see you all again on Thursday as remember 4th of July is Toronto. There's going to be no live stream. So see you again on Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific time for when Pop Square goes live to inform you what's going on in the K-pop world, what you can be anticipating, and what you should be looking out for.